guys so i am going to be setting myself up for success this week what does that mean i mean i'm going to be meal prepping today i am going to be doing my brows deep conditioning my hair doing a mask so you guys are going to be doing that with me oh and i'm making a tea because i like to have a tea at the end of the day um it makes me feel good so this week i have a goal of just eating vegetables meat fruit and eggs that's it i'm not gonna have anything else and i'm not even going to over i'm not making things fancy it's gonna be a little bit of butter and garlic that's it nothing else i do not plan on um just feeding myself too much i want to limit myself stay focused to my goals stay focused to my devotion with God so I want to make sure that I just limit my distractions so with that being said my dinner literally is gonna be broccoli and chicken I'm gonna meal prep that today I'm going to meal prep I don't like meal prepping my eggs so I won't do that um, but like I said limiting my distractions this week limiting my um, the things that I make excuses of. That's I'm gonna be prepped for the gym in the morning. I am going to. What else am I doing? Making my schedule for the week that I have to obey by. So, you guys are gonna do this with me. So right now I'm gonna go fix my tea, and then I'm gonna start with these brows because, girl, I don't know what the heck it is, but my hair has been growing back like this on my body all the time and I might even take in hair growth serum it's just like but you know what I hate that it doesn't grow back exactly where I want them to grow back so let, let's go make the tea because uh, the teapot is whistling I'm testing out this blueberry tea I'm like really orange sorry whatever so I'm testing out this blueberry tea that I got at Marshall. I am going to do my brows now. So what I like to do when I do my brows is honestly I like to um, shape them out beforehand so that I make sure. Let me turn off this light. Hold on. I do not take out hair that I really oh, There y'all go. So that I make sure that I do not take out hair that I do not want to remove. Because, listen, every single hair that's in the right spot is very precious to me. Okay? Because, listen, like I said, hair grows on my body, but it doesn't grow exactly where I want it to be. If all the hair on my body just grew exactly where I needed to be, I'd be a happy girl. But no, it just doesn't want to do that. So, when I do my brows because I used to get them done all the time. Now I just do them myself. I just like to focus on making sure that I line them out and then just take out the surrounding. So that's what we're gonna do. Watch me do it and I'll try to explain it to you guys as I go. Oh, and by the way, yes, I broke this mirror. This like sometimes swivels off and I don't believe in getting bad luck. So I just leave it there and I just use it. I'm just using a e.l.f. brow pencil just because it's not my favorite but uh we'll make it work and I don't have to because I just wash it off afterwards anyways so and I'm actually gonna be waxing my face too I know crazy I'm waxing my face listen y'all don't clock me this is not how I do my brows I just do it for the sake of me doing my brows okay I don't want y'all commenting and telling me hey girl why are your brows so dark listen this is what I do in order for my brows to look good okay get up using this wig wig thing 
what is this called wax thing that I bought at Sally's I think the machine itself was like $25 and then the wax itself is like 10 to $15 depending on which one you get it's definitely worth it it does pay off over time if you're gonna keep doing your own brows just make sure you do what I do don't just like go in waxing random stuff on your body just because once the hair is gone, it's gone for some time, okay? guys so my brows are done and what I do is just wipe all that off and now I just have all the my brows aren't filled obviously now I just have the shape of the brows and all the hair that I would have kept but guys fun fact I wax my entire face I got a couple of my hairs. Hold on, let me get them. Now I wax my face and make sure all my hairs that I want to keep are pushed back. And I wax my sideburns. Hold on, I have like a little bit right here. And then I wax all this pretty much from here down I'm gonna wax All right, so, ya me bañé. I'm all clean, out of the shower. I'm in my bata. So, typically when I'm getting myself together for the week, uh, I love to wax my face, do my brows, and give myself a really good skincare day. My pores feel clogged today. They definitely need a, like a, a, a boost, so, what I'm going to do is do my Holy Grail mask, which is this one right here. This is the Aztec Secrets Health and Beauty Indian Clay Mask. I bought this at Whole... No, I bought this off Amazon. I'm lying. Actually cheaper than when you would find it on Whole Foods. Um, this was $10. Bucks. Um, typically when you buy it at Whole Foods, the little one is $10. So there's that. So I put a little bit mix of the mix in there, not too much because it's just going on my face. And then I mix the good old mother apple cider vinegar. This is with the mother. I don't know what the mother is. It's whatever it's on the bottom. It's what you need in your life. So I'm going to put a little bit, not a lot, to make sure you put it, make it a little bit of a thick consistency. And do not use a metal, a metal spoon to mix this, okay? I just use my brush or I have a little plastic whisk, but right now I'm just using my brush. And I'm going to do it right here because this is where I typically do it when I mix everything together. 
I'll just do it uh, I just do it like in front of my microwave and use that as a mirror now this will burn a little bit just because of course your pores are freshly waxed and at the end my face is hella red but beauty is pain and all of this is all of this is worth it the main reason why I do this is because my logic let's go on my shirt so before when I first started waxing my face my skin would break the heck out I would wax it or try to shave it because peach fuzz does affect makeup application so when I started noticing that I just started playing with different things I was like all right so I'm gonna wax it and then just wash it really good worked but not as good so I'm gonna wax it and put a mask on it depending on the mask it works good this mask I'm using my viewfinder now never fails okay never every single time I use it I'm just so happy And I also put it on my forehead and then you let it dry for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll show you guys what I do afterwards for sure I'll put it in my brows a little bit too because you get breakouts in your brows girls don't be acting but just be gentle when you remove it off your brows because it does dry up so I have all right so I have my dinner going this is just chicken breast for the week it's like four or five pieces salt pepper and garlic that's it here i'm going to do some broccoli cauliflower and some spinach it's just still in the fridge i grinded i'm talking a little funny because i still have my mask on so ignore that so and here i have avocado oil with garlic that's all i'll be using in here for this broccoli part just so that i can have it for the week easy peasy lemon squeezy i stay on track i stay on track and in and with my goals as you guys can see the mask is almost dry i'll be removing that shortly let me just start getting all this stuff together So this is what it looks like when it's fully drying just like this so I'm just going to zoom you out as much as I can I turn the water on pretty warm just because this is how I like to remove it so it's warm I take a washcloth With it still pretty damp, let me turn that off for a sec. 
when it's still pretty damp, I just put it on a few seconds and then wipe it off. So annoying and I have to like pop them before they get worse. So I'm always left with a beautiful scar for a little bit. So this, <clears throat> so this is what my skin looks like after the mask. Yes, it's hella red, super duper red. And it feels super duper detoxified, but literally the payoff tomorrow will be worth it the aspect of not getting any um breakouts the next day after waxing or shaving your face is worth it so don't be alarmed by the tightness by the feeling of this mask wait till the next day and i trust me trust me trust me you are going to love the way your skin feels all right, so my skin is really, really dry now. Now I have to restore the hydration in my skin. So I am going to go in with my trusted things. So right now, well, not trusted things because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know how this is working on my skin. This is a toner. It's a nourish no try snail daily turner toner and i got this at marshall's i needed a toner and i was like you know what let's try this Whenever I do skincare, I always put my contacts on just because I like to see what I'm doing. I'm going to go in with my favorite lotion. It's been my favorite for quite some time now. I feel like my skin is getting a little adapted to it, but let's see. Once I start seeing not it not work, which is not really. I just Maybe it's just me or maybe my skin has just been a little bit more dry than normal. And then bring that all the way down. Yes, it does sting a little bit. After, whatever moisturizer you put on your skin, your skin is going to sting. Okay? You literally just stripped the crap out of your face. But please, just trust me. Now for my under eye, I'm using this Derma E Eye Lift. So the other day... I've been experiencing a lot of like annoyingness every single time I put my concealer and I'm just like well maybe it's because I don't put anything on there in my eyes I haven't done my makeup since so I don't know if that was the case or if it was a product but I've been doing it a lot more lately just to take care of my skin properly I don't know if this one works super duper good but it's what I have. So, that's what I'm using. And then lastly, because, again, our skin is dry, we need extra nourishment. I am going to be using this Calm and Soothe Prime Rose Oil by Yes2. And I'm just going to put that here, here, here. And you always put oils after lotion and moisturizer because oil can seep through lotion lotion can't seep through oil okay okay bring it down to my neck yeah let's go look at my food the meat must be ready to turn 
and that's my skincare that's how i take care of my skin when it's getting ready for the week Ooh, all right so i think the broccoli should be done i'm gonna add the spinach to that Ooh. and then the meat um it's almost ready to turn so I've been like learning how to properly cook meat because usually I overcook it and it's kind of annoying and it's because I try to make sure that I don't undercook it that I overcook it so I've been so I let it cook until I can really see the white through to the uncooked side and then I turn it and then I just leave it for a few minutes and then bada bing bada boom you got some cooked evenly cooked meat so my skin's gonna look a little glossy for some time but trust me your skin is gonna thank you later i'm gonna get going finish my food put it all away and then i'll be right back guys So, uh, I think I'm ready for my week. Let me see. Okay, yeah. So, I think I'm ready for my week. Hey guys, so it's now the next day after me filming the whole, you know, kind of like Sunday routine that I do. And not that I'm not going to do that I'm gonna stop doing that, but I came, <sighs> I came down to this realization. Um, I was listening to this book today called The Me I Wanna Be, Becoming God's Best Version of You. And honestly, God revealed so much to me today and I was just like, kind of in awe when it comes to who I am and who I'm supposed to be, right? So, I've been reading a lot of success books and I've been listening to a lot of motivational speakers and all this other stuff and the consensus that I've come across, is that the right word? Let me see. That's the right word. So, I've come to the realization that waking up early in the morning is just not going to work for me and I've drawn the conclusion that from everything that I've read and everything that I've learned that you need to be a morning person in order to be a successful person wrong right so wrong and in the book I have realized that you know not that I didn't know this before but it kind of confirmed and solidified and just gave it to me in a different view that even to the t to even to the point that i will not be the type of person that wakes up early in the morning and that is okay it is okay for me not to fit the stereotypical norm for a successful person and it's okay for you not to fit the stereotypical norm for a successful person just because of what people say being successful takes and what people say you should do and you shouldn't do so quite frankly I am NOT a morning person I've been slacking a lot because I've been forcing and working so hard to become a morning person that's been my total focus I'm literally telling myself constantly if I become a morning person I will be successful because I will get a lot more done. No, that's not how I function. So for a long time, I've been going to bed like around 12, stopping my day, and then I don't even wake up on time because that's just not who I am. So I realized that, Judy, what worked for you was staying up, working late on your projects. And that's always what I've been, even through college, in high school, I've always been the person that stood up till 2, 3 in the morning working on stuff just because that's what, that's what, that's what's worked for me. 
So I need to continue doing what works for me. It's okay that it doesn't fit the mold of what a successful person should and shouldn't do. Right now, this is what I need to do. Eventually, I can evolve to a person that wakes up early in the morning. Maybe when I become a mother, I'm gonna have to utilize my time a little bit differently and that point in my life may change to that level. But being okay with not fitting the typical norm is all right. So making sure you tailor your life and making sure that when you are doing your devotionals and that you're reading the word, doing 30 Bible scriptures a day does not make you more of a Christian than someone that does two. You know what I'm saying? Because that person that does two may be, may be more devoted to the word of God just because that's what works with them. And the person that's doing 30 is not genuinely doing 30. You get what I'm saying? So focusing on what works for you and who you genuinely are and not jipping God, but just doing who you are, what you do, and who you're meant to be. It's okay to find your own definition to success. Don't be caught up with what other people say and other people do. Learn from them, but don't become them, okay? I just wanted to end that video on this note just because this was heavy on my heart and all day today I was beating myself up because today was another day that I didn't wake up on time. So I'm like, what is wrong with me? And there's nothing wrong with me. I just don't function like that. I function much better late at night for the 15th time in this video. Okay, so understanding who you are and not fall, falling into a mold that you do not need to because that's what works for you, okay? Make sure you do what works for you. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel and I hope you subscribe. See you guys on my next video. Bye guys.